So we want to rank online. Potentially we've got a new website or maybe we've got a website that's been around for a while, but it's not actually ranking really well. And we're kind of wondering to ourselves, how the hell are we actually going to get to the tops of the search engines so that we can actually start getting customers into our site? That's what we're going to look at today. And we're going to look at a sneaky little tactic that utilizes Google Bard and it also uses utilizes Google Keyword Planner to find our competition's keywords and then understand what level of difficulty it's going to be to actually rank for the keywords that they're ranking for so we can actually start siphoning off their traffic. So it's super, super simple to do with the process that I'm going to show you. And once you find out this information, to be honest, all you do then is you just create the content around what I show you and you will start to appear in the search engines for those keywords and you'll start to get traffic. And the more that you do this, the more that you understand about your competition within the search engines and what they're ranking for, the easy keywords that they're ranking for, the more you're gonna be able to create better content that addresses the needs of what your customers are actually looking for, which means more visitors, which means more sales, which means more subscribers. So yeah, exciting. So the first thing that we need to do is, well, the first thing we need to do is use this prompt here. Let's go over to Google Bard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for, so we're gonna put in, can you make a list of the top five ranking websites for the search term? And now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna put in your main keyword, okay? So you're gonna put in the main keyword that you're actually looking to try and rank for, okay? Now this is more of a generic -y kind of term. So what I mean by that is it's not gonna be a super long tail keyword. So it could be something like um, backlinks, backlinks for SEO. Okay. So that could be, so potentially I wanted to rank for backlinks for SEO, but if I had a new site or a site that wasn't ranking very well, well, then I know that it's going to be difficult to rank for backlinks for SEO based on the fact that backlinks for SEO is a super competitive term. So I got to be smart about it. I got to think, okay, in order for me to actually eventually rank for backlinks for SEO, I've got to build up my authority within that topical area of backlinks for SEO. And I've got to do that by looking at what my competition are ranking for and then creating better content myself, okay? So here it's done. It's kind of coming here said, all right, so here's a list of the top five websites ranking for backlinks for SEO. We got Backlinko, okay? And funny, funnily enough, that's what I'm gonna be doing this on. So we got Backlinko, we got Ahrefs, we got Moz, we got SEM Rush, and we got Search Engine Journal, okay? So these are massively competitive sites and you might come across this in your niche, whatever your niche actually is. And you're kind of thinking, oh, I can't compete against them. Look, you don't have to compete against them. That's the thing. You don't have to compete against these massively competitive sites. You just have to find the easy terms that these guys are actually competing on and then do better than them on those easy terms. So the next thing is we're going to come and we're going to do a Google search planner. Okay, so we're going to come to Google Keywords Tool. Now, it's free to sign up for Google Keywords Tool. Just uh, there's a link down in here that you can click on to the Keywords Planner. You're going to have to sign up with your Gmail account, etc., and go through the process. Okay, now when you after you've done that, you're going to come to a page like this Keyword Planner. You're going to come to this Discover New Keywords. Okay. And this is where you can actually enter keywords that you have in here. And, and you can see Google will give you um, all of the keywords that are ranking related to that keyword in the Google search engines. And it'll also give you the number of searches. But we're not going to do that. We're going to search via the website. OK, so we're just going to put in Backlinko as the main um, as our main competitor here. So we're going to actually search Backlinko uh, on Google and Google is going to tell us how many keywords are actually ranking within there. Now, one of the things, if you look in Bard, what I'd do if I were you, I would look at all of my competition and I would do this process for all of the competition so that I'm building up a huge, huge list of keywords, easy keyword wins, easy topical wins to actually get my keywords ranking to get that traffic, okay? So we're just gonna click Backlinko. We're gonna use all locations, okay? So you would click on here and you would choose your location or choose no location, which will give us all locations, okay? And then we're just gonna click the entire site and we're gonna click get results. So what's gonna happen is Google's gonna go ahead and it's going to actually find these results. Now, as you can see, 
huge amount of results and kind of gives us the volume, the CPCs, all that kind of stuff. So all we're going to do is we're just going to come over to this button here and we're going to export it as a Google Sheets, okay? And we're just going to click download. It's going to take a couple of moments for it to actually download. In the meantime, we're just going to come back uh, to here and then it's going to, we're going to say like, we're going to sort our keywords and we're going to say like, let's take 50 out of pop, okay? So we're going to take the keywords that Google actually gives us in this sheet and we're going to put them into Google Bard and then get it to work its magic on those keywords, okay? So let's have our keywords here. As you can see, open our sheet now. And all we're going to do is we're just going to grab the first 50 keywords. So let's go to 54 here, okay? Uh, and we're going to come back over to Bard. Now, what you want to be doing with this is you want to go and do 50 keywords at a time, all right, and go through all of them, et cetera, et cetera, okay? We're going to come back into our sheet, and we're just going to go, I need you to group these keywords into article-specific groups, understanding that many keywords will fit into the same article. Please lay out in the spreadsheet format for easy downloading, okay? And so as you can see, it's laid out the keyword research tools and then it's popped the keywords into uh, the grouping. Then it's an SEO specialist, pop the keywords into the grouping. SEO content writers, pop the keywords into the grouping. Okay, so that's the first step of this. Now we got to basically go through. We're just going to ask it. We're going to say, also, give me the SEO keyword difficulty for each grouping and the keyword intent. Along with the grouping, please include relevant LSI keywords and each for to add to each keyword grouping. Please lay out in the spreadsheet format for easy downloading. Again, we're just asking it for more information. We're going to ask it how difficult it's going to be to rank these. And we're also going to ask, what is it? Is it an informational? Is it, is it a navigational? Is it a transactional kind of intent? So what is the intent of the person that's going to be searching for this keyword? And we've also asked it for keyword difficulty. So how difficult it's going to actually be. So as you can see here, all right, here's the article, medium, keyword difficulty, SEO intent, research, informational, LSI, and then we've got a list of our LSI keywords, okay? Here's an SEO certification, which is low, as you can see, a lot of them are medium here. Uh, get website traffic is low, increase website traffic. So these are all pretty low in terms of the competitive nature of that search area. So the next thing we wanna do is, so we're just gonna using, so using, Let's put in increase website traffic free. Uh, just going to change our keyword in here. So using increase website traffic tree is free as my main topic. Please give me five support article ideas that will create a topic cluster to help support my chosen main topic. Okay. And so what it's going to do now is it's going to give us uh, a topical cluster that is going to enable us to actually start ranking for this keyword here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is creating an article around increasing the website traffic for free, utilizing our keywords that are showed above as well. Then underneath that, we're going to have these articles. So unleash the power of keyword research for organic traffic, harness the essence of content marketing for free traffic, embrace social media revolution, uh, revolution for free traffic, tap into the power. And then basically what it's doing is it's giving us an idea of what it is that we can actually talk about. So all we need to do is we need to understand that we're going to create this content and then we're going to link back up to our main piece of content, which is going to be increased website traffic for free. Now, this is a super easy way to actually see the low hanging fruit that your competition have, take advantage of that and actually start ranking, getting getting traffic and getting customers. So anyway, look, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, make sure that you download the sheet, okay? It's free for you there down below. Uh, my name's Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. If you liked it, please give me a like, give me a subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Keep it easy.